This shoe makes me look like I have dinosaur feet. At least according to my girlfriend. I'm of course talking about the Pollux Clog by Salehi Bembury. This shoe is actually quite close to my heart. I've been trying to get my hands on one of these ever since they released. Uh, and I've been finally able to get my hands on the Kuwata colorway. One of the best colorways I dare to say in my opinion. Uh, I think it's very versatile um, and just generally a great colorway that fits with many different outfits and colors. But um, without any further ado, let's take a closer look. I've been a Salehi Benburi fan for quite some time now. Uh, I really love what he's doing uh, with his brand, Sponge, and all the different collabs that he's been a part of, and all the different yeah, uh, pieces that he's been releasing uh, over the years. Um, yeah, really huge fan. Um, and of course, this has to be one of his staples uh, of, of, of his brand, the Pollux Clog. Uh, in collaboration with Crocs. Uh, this shoe basically single-handedly brought Crocs to the sneaker community, which is quite insane and amazing. Um, and this, I think, I dare to say, has been one of the only Crocs that's been instantly selling out as soon as they released. So that's quite an achievement. Uh, speaking from, a, as a person that used to hate Crocs, uh, and here I am, uh, also owning a pair of Crocs and really actually trying to trying hard to get a pair of cro Crocs so um, I think that says a lot uh, about Salehi and about this particular shoe um, and of course some people love it and some people hate it like I said in the beginning my girlfriend thinks these make me look like I have dinosaur feet but um, I'm completely actually in love with the shoe and I love the design and I love the way it looks like. Speaking about the design of the shoe, uh, this shoe has been modeled after Salehi's fingerprint. And with that being said, I need to also first talk about the box because the box is uh, quite cool as well, in my opinion. So looking at the box, we can see uh, there are actually these uh, Prints. This is actually the bottom of the shoe itself and as you can see it does look like a fingerprint. Um, so that fingerprint branding is also brought across here. As you can see it says Crocs, uh, Salehi Bembury, um, as well as here. And of course on this side we have Pollux Clog. So yeah, I've been referring to this uh, shoe as a shoe, but it is actually like a clog. So you could call it a clog or a shoe, uh, it, it really depends. To me, it's a shoe, so. But um, yeah, speaking about the design, we can see this fingerprint uh, aesthetic that's pretty much wrapping around the entire shoe. And like I said, the bottom is the very much kind of like the center uh, of your fingerprint. So that's where all the different like lines come together. Um, yeah, so this has been brought all around the shoe um, and it follows this, this fingerprint aesthetic, which uh, in my opinion looks really, really cool. Um, there is a strap uh, here that helps definitely with fitment. I'll talk about the fitment and sizing um, in a little bit. But yeah, so there is a strap with, uh, so this is plastic and some canvas material and some yeah Velcro that uh, helps to secure your foot in. Um, other than that, we have, uh, speaking about materials, we have the basic kind of Crocs material. It's kind of like foam, rubbery substance. I don't know, I think it's a foam. Uh, so this foam substance, so that's uh, yeah, no different to any other clog or croc, uh, but we do have uh, here, I think it's very well placed, this rubber, uh, it wraps around the toe. Uh, it's also down here and on the heel uh, as well as you can see. So I think these are, it's very well placed because these will be the high wear areas uh, of this particular shoe. 
Uh, I'm not sure how this will hold up. Maybe I'll, I'm gonna make uh, another video in a few months after I've had the chance to, to wear this shoe for, for a while. Uh, then I'll see myself how it uh, held up uh, to the wear. So I'll make another video just reviewing, um, yeah, just how it holds up after a few months of, uh, of wear. Uh, but yeah, basic materials, uh, pretty good, pretty comfortable. We all know Crocs, even though I haven't owned any Crocs uh, before in my life, I've had the chance to slip on some, some Crocs and wear them. And of course uh, they are comfortable. So uh, yeah, comfort wise, uh, just like any other uh, croc. Talking about the sizing, so that's been a, a big topic of discussion uh, for the shoe that I've seen other people reviewing it and people talking about it. The sizing is quite, um, yeah, quite hard to, to get exact, uh, if I may say. Um, I think, uh, Pretty much everyone is saying to go uh, a whole size down. Uh, so my regular size is uh, nine and a half US, uh, and I got these in an eight, and they fit perfectly. So they don't do half sizes uh, in this particular uh, shoe. Uh, and yeah, uh, so I got an eight, and it fits perfect. Uh, so I think I'm the best sizing advice I, I would give. Uh, or maybe I'm lucky, but to go one and a half sizes down, uh, but that only works, of course, if you're actually, if your regular uh, is a half size, for example, in my case, a nine and a half, I went down to eight, uh, and it fits perfectly, because um, I've heard other people that are, um, for example, if you're a 10, and if you go down to a nine, it might still be um, a bit uh, too big, so what you can do is you can yeah, just really pull on these uh, straps uh, with the Velcro and secure your foot. I have also heard people putting this um, in a dryer, uh, trying to shrink them. Um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't suggest doing it. I'm not sure if it works, but I wouldn't suggest doing it. That probably ruins kind of the, the foam a little bit. Um, and probably the longevity of the shoe is jeopardized as well but if you really must you can try some of these techniques I'm sure you can find other videos explaining how you can exactly shrink these uh, to fit to your size but like I said I've been pretty lucky um, that my true to size is already half a size so I've been able to go down one and a half sizes and these fit me perfectly, comfort is great. Um, yeah, so completely in love with the shoe. Uh, one of the last things, um, these might be a bit hard to style, so I'm gonna give you guys a few uh, options or kind of like, uh, I'm just gonna give you a few suggestions how I would style the shoe uh, and give you guys an on-foot look so you can see how they look, for example, with jeans, with sweatpants and, and whatnot. But um, I would also, I really like the look of the shoe with socks on. So I would definitely keep uh, my socks on and wear these with socks. But of course, it's a, uh, it's a croc, so you can wear them to the beach. Uh, oh, by the way, great beach shoe. I'm going to be taking these soon to the beach uh, and walking with them. So um, yeah, super excited uh, to have been able to pick up uh, this particular shoe in this colorway. Um, yeah, so let's get to the on feet. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the dinosaur shoe. That's what, I, that's what I'm gonna be calling it from now on. If you'd like to see more reviews like this, please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.